Ottawa's G Batteries has a simple yet highly ambitious goal. Develop battery technology that can charge an electric vehicle in the same amount of time that it takes to fill a tank of gas. G Batteries has been incubated in Silicon Valley and raised millions of dollars in financing. While the company is continuing to grow, COVID-19 has postponed one step in the startup's journey, an invitation to C100's 48 Hours in the Valley. Mentorship and networking are vital for many early stage companies, but where can entrepreneurs make those connections amid a pandemic? We'll be exploring that question and learning more about G Batteries this week on Techopia Live. Welcome to Techopia Live. I'm Peter Cavesi from the Ottawa Business Journal, and we're joined today by Konstantin Komatov, the co-founder and CEO of G Batteries. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about the technology that G Batteries is developing and the markets that it's hoping to tackle. Absolutely. Uh, you have already mentioned that. So we are on the path or uh, our grandiose mission and vision is to enable electrical vehicles to charge as fast as it takes to fill up a tank of gas. So uh, what we've developed at G-Batteries, uh, first of all, we originated here in Ottawa uh, roughly about eight years ago in one of the basements uh, close to experimental farms. And uh, what we developed is the tech that enables us to charge lithium ion batteries extremely fast without compromising performance of those batteries. So as a result of that achievement, uh, and as we have already just discussed, uh, our ultimate goal is to accelerate adoption of electrical vehicles, replace internal combustion engines with electrical drive, and ultimately reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Okay, so now 2020 has already been a really big year for, for G Batteries, and we're gonna talk about uh, your recent funding round in just a moment. But first, tell me what C100's 48 hours in the valley is. So C100 in general, for those that don't know, it's a non-for-profit organization uh, headquartered in San Francisco Bay Area. And what they do is the uh, a group of people, mentors, that are supporting fellow Canadians on the entrepreneurial journey. This mentorship um, network that they're able to provide. And uh, as you have mentioned, we are lucky enough uh, this year we've been selected uh, into the program, which is called 48 Hours in the Valley, where they bring us down 48 hours down to the Bay Area where we get to meet uh, the network of C100, uh, get accepted as part of the group of C100 uh, members and uh, receive um, world-class mentorship and potentially network and support to grow our businesses. So now, of course, you've um, been to the Valley before. You've spent years um, building up your professional network and uh, finding those mentorship opportunities. but. For many, you know, early stage companies, uh, those, those traditional face-to-face -face opportunities, those, those are on pause right now. Those, those just aren't, aren't, aren't happening at the moment. Um, from your, your perspective, what guidance would you give uh, an entrepreneur uh, who might be looking for, you know, mentorship or networking uh, opportunities, uh, but maybe uh, sort of spending a lot of their time uh, at, at home right now? Yes, of course. Well, uh, first and foremost, for our fellow Ottawa-based entrepreneurs, uh, if you didn't yet, I strongly encourage to apply for Invest Ottawa Accelerated Program. And uh, they have world-class mentors there that would be more than happy to jump with you on a video call and advise and share their knowledge and experiences and help you on your journey if you have any barriers that you need to overcome or if you need an advice. But for those that are either too early or need an advice right away, uh, I would, of course, suggest and recommend it is now day and age technology. Podcasts are widely available. Uh, video, YouTube videos of world-class uh, uh, entrepreneurs that are there sharing their journeys, sharing their experiences. There's a lot to be picked up there. So uh, once again, I would encourage, if not Invest Ottawa for Ottawa entrepreneurs, for anybody else in the world, if you are looking up to somebody, if you need an advice, open up a, a podcast, open up a YouTube, and just watch someone who've been there and done it and learned from their journey. Absolutely. That's, that's great advice. Um, earlier this year, uh, G Batteries had uh, some really, really big news. It uh, closed uh, a significant financing round, and uh, I gather it was specifically for clean tech companies. Um, tell us a little bit more uh, about that. 
Yes, of course, uh, we've been uh, uh, already, uh, as a known fact, we've been awarded uh, uh, funding from National Research Council of Canada. Uh, the specific program is Breakthrough Energy uh, 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 Support, where uh, the goal is to accelerate clean tech technologies you have just mentioned already. Specifically for us, for G Batteries, uh, this announcement and this funding opportunity would enable to get closer to our goal of demonstrating our technology on electrical vehicles. What we've managed to achieve to date, uh, as some of you have been following our progress, is we've demonstrated our technology on a micromobility vehicle, on electrical scooter, where we took it down from the conventional five-hour charge to under 10 minutes charge. So now with this funding, we would be able to scale it from a small vehicle to a larger electrical vehicle and demonstrate it within the next two years. Wow. And you're telling me as well uh, that uh, that the funding has also enabled a bit of an expansion to, to your team as well. Absolutely, yes. So, uh, in fact, we are uh, looking to hire uh, more team members and uh, at least we'll be looking for five to seven people to, uh, to, to hire within the next short while to join us on the journey to accelerate an adoption of electrical vehicles. I want to, I want to pick up on what you just, just said there. Um, you know, obviously, from like um, many for many tech companies, without that access to, uh, to ta talent, uh, the growth is just not, uh, not possible. One of the major sources of talent for the region's tech sector is the University of Ottawa's Faculty of Engineering, which is one of the supporters of Techopia Live. The faculty is home to more than 6,000 students and offers a co-op program that's consistently ranked as one of the best in Canada. Supported by a staff of professionals helping with the onboarding process, these undergrad and graduate students are frequently hired by local tech firms as co-op students, invited back for subsequent work terms, and then hired on as full-time employees after graduation. If your tech company is growing, you'd be remiss not to consider the talent that's emerging from the University of Ottawa's Faculty of Engineering. You can learn more at engineering.uottawa.ca. I want to uh, go back to G Batteries and and, uh, and ask you a little bit more about what's ahead for you in, in 2020. Uh, you uh, once said uh, that the biggest challenge facing the company is uh, non-believers. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, about uh, that that challenge and how you're overcoming it. I think since the last since the last uh, talk that we had uh, with OBG, um, I think the world have changed slightly, and uh, uh, we are observing that the challenge of non-believers is disappearing on its own. There's more data that we're able to present that we bring on the table. Even the scooter video that anybody can watch on YouTube right now uh, already gives sufficient amount of credibility and trust that in fact what we do can result in something significant. And uh, that, that helped tremendously already to date. And uh, what we are, as I've mentioned, trying to do is we can take it to the next level and do the demonstration of larger vehicles and tackle those trust issues with each and every demonstration that we're gonna be rolling out and demonstrating to the rest of the world what our tech is actually capable of doing. That's fantastic. You know, there's there's an anecdote that uh, that uh, from uh, from one of our uh, previous conversations that stuck with me so much. When you're at a trade show and someone ran up to to the wall and took the battery out, warning you you're gonna overheat and uh, and set fire to the place. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was that was definitely um, an experience uh, to go through, and uh, uh, that definitely helped. And uh, uh, as one of the uh, outcomes of that anecdote is that when that person ran up to our battery pack and pulled out from our demo unit and said, "What are you doing?" Then he actually stopped and says, "Oh, it, it's not hot." It was one of the side effects of us being able to charge fast. We're not increasing heat as much which is one of the side effects when you try to charge batteries fast. It's like, oh, well, actually it does do something. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, even that experiment for non-believers is very useful. So for those that do not, please stop by our office, you know, and we'll be happy to run a demo and you can physically touch the temperature of those batteries. That's fantastic. Once we're all back in our offices, I'd love to take you up on that. Uh, thank Absolutely. you so much for, for joining us. Uh, you've already been down an incredible journey, and we're really, really excited to see uh, what the second half of 2020 has in store for you. Thank you so much, Peter. It was a pleasure to be here, and I uh, look forward to keeping you up to date with our progress. <laughs> thank you. Before I let our audience go, I just want to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors, without whom this show would not be possible. 
We have Number Crunch offering virtualized CFO services for SaaS companies. Pearlie Robertson, Hill & McDougall, a leader in business and tech law. TD Bank with specialized programs for tech firms. The University of Ottawa's Faculty of Engineering, creating the next generation of technical talent. And Stratford Managers, providing services to help you scale your tech venture. Techopia Live is not just this great show. We also are posting articles daily on obj.ca slash techopia. You can follow us on social media at techopia. Sorry, at techopia OTT. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please be sure to give us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again in a couple weeks for the next episode of Techopia Live.